Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. So welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name's Mac. Uh, so it looks like we've got to buy a nice suit. Uh, so we fit Make in with the snobs and toffs so we can like rob the them. Duke he really is. Right. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. <laughs> a bitter and jealous people. Is this the one we're buying? You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Wow. Oh, we looked the part. Are we going to... Oh, yeah, we'll buy this one. It's free. Beauty. Oh, I think we look pretty special in that. I think they'll take us for a toff. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Jesus, we're going to the barber now. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Oh, God. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we... You, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! So we're still after that big pay, uh, so we can sort of make a run for it. Oh, here we are, we're in the barbers. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend? Oh yeah, can I have a mohawk? Right, let's... Cut our this her. unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. And learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. <laughs> right, what style are we going to go for? Well, very good, sir. Oh, we're going clean. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the table. Oh, tonight. it took me ages to grow that moustache as well. Wanted a big handlebar job. Never mind. Uh, what about our her? Do we need to, like, pomade it? Oh, I think we've done that. I, I think we're all right. Look like a Prince. Yeah, we, we look sorted. Yeah, we look like Prince. Purple rain and all that. There, very smart. Yeah, thanks, mate. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Beauty. Oh, yeah. Getting in a fancy coach. So we're heading for that big fancy um, boat George. on the river. To the Grand Gorgon, please. And I think Grand a big Gorgon, uh, high stakes game. Well, we've got her you? Strauss uh, <laughs> helping us cheat. Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? <laughs> Coach. We Arthur's so we out of his depth. So what we'll do is we'll head to the river over on the docks. And when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. So welcome back. So uh, George has just dropped us off. We've had to leave all our weapons with him on the coach. Because uh, we're going to get searched when we go on to this. But it's a, yeah, a bit of a beauty, yes, isn't it? Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. <laughs> there they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, 
Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. So these are a couple of rich folks. Uh, these made the money in hosiery. Come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Yeah, it's Rolani. He's a slippery fox, isn't he? I do love him, though. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. <laughs> oh, now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. All right, let's go now make some money. Right, so Strauss knows the hands that will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. Oh, God. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Right, let's play poker. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man of So there's Strauss over there on the left. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. Focus on Strauss. I like right. this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fair the same right, right, right let's now, fold. where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm absolutely rubbish at poker, we'll but it doesn't that. matter. Uh, we've got Mr. Strauss over there. Here we go, then. Okay, so let's see what the other people get with the cards. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Right. Yes, it is. This is I where Strauss comes in. You're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. <laughs> yeah, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better. Strauss is signaled to keep betting, right? Okay. I stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. So we'll you raise them. Like my wife. So I think he's saying to keep betting. Uh. I'll uh, raise it. Raise. All that. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. So, what's he saying now? You're not fooling anyone. No, I'm going to call. Dallying, you know. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Right, yes, so we won that. Hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well... I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Oh, this guy means business. He's not happy. I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. I've got a G-Shock. Okay. I just... Now play. Right, let's As do it. Wish. 
So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hano. <laughs> Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Wow. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Strauss is signaling to go all in. Okay, let's do it. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Right, so did we get like Hard a flush or something? Divide. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Bloody hell. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Yeah, Why let's. Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Right, sir. It's heavy, eh? Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Oh, this is absolutely mint. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Bloody hell. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Right, so we're not armed at the minute, but obviously Javier is. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know. Oh, what an I asshole. Know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Right, let's Foreign get it. Made, but you can't have everything. <laughs> Indeed. God, what a tool this fella is. Here we are. Right, let's get this watch and get out of here. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Right, I'm not sure what's going to go down here, but, uh... Oh, God. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Right, let's get the gun. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Right, let's loot the safe. Oh, hey, this is huh? going to be a good... Oh, yeah. We gave him a new eye. Oh, shit. Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Right, let's get out of here. Someone you must have heard that. Pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Beauty. Right. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Right. I think we've got a gun. Have we got a gun? Out of here. If we're lucky. Right. Let's get out of here. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Oh God! This is going to go and tits up. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. Just jump over this the side into the drink. This is what to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. <laughs> oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Yeah. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Alright, so that's Trelawney having a bit of an argument. Very 
there he is. Ah, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, the Christ. <laughs> here we go. Right. Back into the old rotate. You're gonna die here. Over that. Give it up. You're... Nice. A couple more over there, I think. Whatever you do, don't forget I'm unarmed. Okay, don't worry. Jesus. I think we'll get around there, hide behind that table. What's our next move here? God, I knew it was going to go, uh, her shape. We need to get out of here. I'll help you suggest. I don't know. This ain't my... Silly. Get over the bloody so oh right we are we're going in the drink. Oh my god! Come on, do you, Michael Phelps? Something just touched, my leg. <laughs> Something just touched his leg. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, keep the watch, Arthur. Jesus, that was a good take, and we got 750 for ourselves, and uh, another bronze medal as usual. Uh, that was awesome, that. Um, so we'll just check the map and just see what's going to be happening in Saint Denis. Uh, so we've got a few stranger missions, but as I said, I think when I started this game, I'm just going to sort of stick as much as possible to the main story, because uh, it's that big and it's got that much going on. Uh, if I was to play all of the stranger missions, uh, yeah, we'd be here till. Uh, 2050. So we've got um, Mary Beth, and then we've got a stranger mission just in Saint Denis. So we might have a little look at that because I think all the yellow ones are the main sort of storylines. So uh, we'll be doing that over the next couple of episodes. But um, thanks a lot for joining me. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, if you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, uh, that'd be an absolute rip snorter. But uh, until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.